things theology, all things theology We chop it up properly, without an apology Gotta give doxology to God hollow Because this is how we do it at all things theology Yo, grace and peace guys, welcome back to another episode of All Things Theology where I'm your host K-Dub and today I want to talk about the Bible College Marcus Rogers is starting. But before we do that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not, and as always, click that notification bell so you can be aware when I drop new content. Yes, Marcus Rogers is starting a Bible College. Uh, you, you don't believe me? Check it out yourself. So I just really need you guys' prayers, really need your guys' support. Uh, we're getting ready to start the uh, Bible College fully accredited. You can get your doctor, uh, doctorate's degree. Yeah, he's starting a uh, Bible College. Someone sent me a post and a, a, a clip of him stating that to be the very case. And uh, I was very shocked. I was discouraged for about five seconds when I saw that. And so I was like, hey, uh, let me see what... What some of the, let me read this. Let me see what some of the things he's teaching. So I I scan through the posts and I'm saying, okay, uh, firehouse education, Bible college, and let me say this for for the people who say, oh, you're hating, you're hating. No, I mean, I, I I'm not saying he can't do this, right? I, I'm who am I, right? Uh, my here's gonna be my let me let me be out front and open of my main reason why I'm against Marcus Rogers starting a Bible college. Well, he's unlearned. He's a false teacher. Um, I've demonstrated in past videos. You want to see that? Go check that out. So with his false teaching, it would only uh, multiply with his Bible college. So for that, I'm I'm grieved. But let's check this out. So he's starting a Bible college. And this is going to be very, uh, I guess, very quick. Um, I guess the seminary is going to be called uh, Christ Exalted Seminary, September 20 through 25th at Firehouse Church and online. Now, is this how long the seminary is or is this like how long you can apply? Uh, uh, I would have, that would be kind of funny if that was the length of the seminary. But nevertheless, talk about uh, fire hose of information. He says the curriculum offered by CES. So here's some of the things they're going to be taught. Okay. Uh, the five major divisions of the Old Testament Hebrew Bible, uh, the Pentateuch, the historical books, the poetical writings, the major prophets, the minor prophets. Okay. The five major divisions of the New Testament Greek Bible, the Gospels, the history of the church, you know, Acts, the Pauline epistles and Hebrews, uh, the general epistles and the prophetic writings. Very interesting. He says, earn your associates, bachelor's, master's and doctorate in theology, right? So if you want to learn how to be uh, theological here you can sign up for uh, Bible College if at um, Christ Exalted Seminary I guess headed by the Dean of uh, Operations Marcus Rogers I, I don't know if that's actually his title there but I'm sure he's he <laughs> and uh, by the way don't go to someone who spells doctorate wrong <laughs> I just noticed do do doctorate <laughs> uh, decorate <laughs> you know uh, probably want to stay away from a seminary who uh puts this out there nevertheless uh, let's read some more of this post because he 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 ex you know elaborated on some of the some of the teachings and what his his you know his motive was behind this so let's check it out he says firehouse is excited to announce the launch of our fully accredited bible college so okay it's accredited so you can go there be accredited with your the classes you take he says working with christ exalted seminary you can now get your associates bachelor's masters and doctorates in theology um it will be one class a week <laughs> that's strange and it will be available through zoom and in person as the building is completed email my mother who will be teaching the classes that's interesting. He says, Firehouse will also be giving away a few scholarships for those who want to get their degree. That's cool. If you would like to pursue a degree from home, you can. You don't have to become a member of Firehouse to enroll in the church, in the college. Sorry. www.marcusrogersministries.com for those who are, or .org for those who are interested. He says, the associate's degree is a the of, of theology is a two-year degree in the study of the first Two divisions of the Hebrew Old Testament, the Pentateuch and historical books from Genesis through Esther, 17 books. He says, you will be introduced to Jesus in these books. 
who has always been and always will be God's plan of salvation from the foundation of the world. You will gain an understanding of the word of the wonder and and the amazing grace of the new and better covenant as you study the old covenant. OK. The Pentateuch ascribed to Moses and referred as the law, the Torah and the law of Moses hold supreme rank and respect by the Jews. The historical books revealed how the obedience and disobedience of God's people determine whether they were receive blessings or curses. Let's keep going on. Like I said, I just want to bring the information to you. Maybe you will want to join this college. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, let's see. Picking up. He says, you will come to know the main characters of the Old Testament and understand the history, occasion, and author of each book studied. Um, you will gain an insight into God's dealing with man, families, and nations, which are relevant today. Okay, that's the associate degree. So it seems very simple. Okay, that's fine. Now, the bachelor degree, right? This is going to be a little more advanced. So this is for you real theologians who are, you know, you, 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 you're stepping off the first base. You know, you want to challenge yourself. Here's the bachelor's degree. It's a four year degree. The prerequisite of earning this degree is the associate of theology degree. Understandable. The bachelor's degree of theology picks up where the associate degree leaves off and comprises the study of the remaining three divisions of the Old Testament, the poetical writings, the major and minor prophets from Job through Malachi, 22 books, the five books which comp comp comprise the poetical writings referred to as the wisdom writings are not considered poetry in today's modern thought because it, of its lack of rhyme and do, 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 do. Hold on. Uh, lack of rhyme and where, where, are we, where, where are we? Oh, rhythm. OK, rather, the poetical writings possess ideas and phrases, teaching skills and living to be applied in daily life. The poetical writings are deeply rooted in the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom. Yes, that is the Old Testament prophets, including major and minor, appeared in times of crisis, provided warnings and directions, reminding God's people of their covenant with the Lord and gave a revelation of God's character and nature. The prophets addressed both kings and people. The titles, major and minor prophets, do not signify the importance of prophet, but merely identify the prophets with a greater or lesser volume of text. I, I, I guess I, I'm going to be now I'm going to get to a point because right? so, I'm going to be curious on something. Uh, like I said, I will be curious on what Marcus Rogers will be teaching at this seminary. Now, there's been a uh, I can't remember this brother name, but he's always saying, hey, he, Marcus Rogers should use his. Uh, his uh, GI Bill to go to don't go to uh, <laughs> go to seminary. Lo and behold, he the prophecy must have must have got muddled, and instead of going to seminary, Marcus Rogers starts one. So I, I'm gonna blame that on you, my friend. <laughs> Next is the master degree in theology. Okay, is a six year degree. The prerequisite of earning this degree is the Bachelor of Theology degree, obviously, right? The Master Degree of Theology includes an in-depth study of the 26, 27 books comprising the Greek Bible, the New Testament, right? Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, let's let's keep going on here. Um, yeah, students will gain a complete understanding that Jesus Christ fulfilled all the Hebrew Bible prophecies concerning the coming of the Messiah as they study his life, death, and resurrection. Students will learn of the birth of Christ's church and the doctrines the church holds us with an understanding of all the ion terms, ages, uh, recognition of the times and that which is yet to come will be studied. So a lot of eschatology. Students will gain an understanding of the world's religions, cults and occults and will become more accurately informed concerning the better covenant that God has extended to man through the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, that's a very interesting uh, statement. But nevertheless, <laughs> a revelation of the unique calling of being raised up in the kingdom for such a time as this will be imparted to students. The doctor degree in theology is an eight year degree. Well, OK, so they got a associates, a bachelor's, a master's and the doctorate. The prerequisite of earning this degree is a master's degree and is continuation of the, all those 66 books from Genesis to Revelation with a concentration on how the Bible came about. Now, I would be very curious on what Marcus Rogers even knows about that, because I haven't seen any kind of hint that he knows about the formulation of the of the how the Bible came about, church history, uh, textual criticism, any of these things. But maybe he'll shock us. 
maybe I should take a class. <laughs> um, he'll talk about with each generation of the church. So church history. Now, I haven't seen any clue that Marcus Rogers knows anything about church history as well. The right, uh, I wonder how big those gaps will be. You know, most people, when they don't know much about church history, they go to the, right to like, uh, you know, middle ages, and, you know, skip all those thousands of years. So I'd be very curious. It says the revivals throughout the ages, the martyrs who pay the price and the benefit the subsequent generations of believers have enjoyed because of their great sacrifice and commitment. Well, that's great. Yeah. Church history will encourage you. Um, the student will learn the book of Acts continues on even unto this present day and that God has much to say about these last days. So pretty much um, you can speak in tongues and do everything in the book of Acts, you know, like the snakes, even even though we kind of redefine some of those, <laughs> you know, things in Acts. Um, yeah, I found this very interesting. And one thing I did not see on this this teaching program, I mean, any, um, you know, seminary that, you know, will engage in some of these things is there was no teaching of the biblical languages, no Greek and Hebrew being taught. Yes. They're going to go to the, you know, new Testament, which was written in Greek, but no, no study in that, no biblical language study, no ex, no, uh, expository preaching, uh, homiletics class, n n none of this stuff. So, um, very interesting. So will be interesting to see what comes of this. Like I said, I do have my concerns, about Marcus Rogers leading a seminary class because, or or a seminary, uh, because of the lack of carefulness when it comes to his teaching. Uh, I've provided examples, not going to run through that in this video, but I have provided many examples of that and to show um, Marcus Rogers is not careful when it comes to exegesis. He's not careful when it comes to exposition. And so I can't imagine hundreds, thousands of people being taught that this is actually a good thing to uh, emulate in him. And so be praying, obviously, for those who are attending, who will be attending. I mean, it's, it's, it's sad, right, that people will be led in falsehood, right? They'll be taught in a, a different Jesus, a false gospel, right? That, you know, baptism, uh, you need to get baptized and speak in tongues to get saved. That's Marcus Rogers' theology, um, right? The 1,500 mile wide and tall God, right? You don't believe me. I have a video on that. Um, and so many other e extreme examples I could bring out. And so, yeah, be praying. Um, and if people need good, <laughs> good, uh, seminary requests, please, uh, let me know in the comment section, but hope this video was helpful till the next time y'all grace and peace.